Well, if you didn't know, Coronado Springs is my favorite resort of all time. And this is the start of my family vacation this week. This week it's going to be my mom, my Aunt Bern, and my cousin Morgan, who you've seen on videos plenty of times before. But we are all here having a little family vacation. Unfortunately, my brother couldn't come. Or fortunately. And before we completely destroy this room, oh, my phone's ringing. So before we completely destroy this room with our snackies and bags and random things, this is the regular Coronado room. A little bit more fancy than where we were the last week. Still got these little things on here. Shower is a tad bit more fancy. You can put your little feet up there and shave your legs and your hiney. And a clean toilet with toilet paper on the floor. All right, we're already moving in here apparently. And then the TV, when you walk in, has this thing with the ducks and uh, burrs and Grandestino Tower. And it did have our last name on here, but it's gone now. I don't know what that is, but it looks yummy. Okay, so this is like going to be like a real vacation. Like my whole family's coming. Well, my, my closest family members are coming and I'm excited because we haven't done one of these since last year, no year before, something like that. I've got my little cubby area. So now we're leaving the room. I hope you really enjoyed that really in-depth room tour. And then I just said that I've never done this before, the three bridges thing. And Burns said we're doing it this week. She said we're doing it right now. She didn't say that. This looks like a fun place. You can tell by the party lights that being out here at night is where you want to be. And I don't think that the grill opened just yet, but we're going to go anyway, I guess. No, it definitely is not open yet, but I don't remember ever seeing it open. One time I asked one of my friends to take a picture of the pineapple fountain and I went and hid over here in the corner and then I scared the bejesus out of them because they didn't know that I was actually here. All right, now we're just sitting here with the rest of the people just waiting to be taken away. So we're just like cracking up because Burns like, I feel like we've been waiting a really awfully long time and I'm like, I know I can't believe it. And Morgan's like, feels like an eternity. And I was like, well, you know how we can find out like how long I've been waiting? So we're all on that Life 360 map together. So I just opened it to see how long we've all been standing here and since 351 and it's 357. So we've been here. <laughs> so we've been here for not even seven minutes and we're complaining. When was the last time you were born? I haven't gone bowling since I was probably your age. And that's not a joke, because I thought I was a junior in high school last year. So. <laughs> okay, so anyway, Morgan just went and checked the TVs that tell you the next time the bus is coming, and it's 4.17, it's four o'clock now. So then Morgan goes, that's gonna feel like at least two hours. For us, yeah, that's very accurate. Another stupid moment of the day, Morgan goes, hey, go check that sign again. I don't want anyone to think that I'm being impatient, like, you know, to go look at the sign. So. I'm like, sure, no problem. So I go around here and I go down there to those TVs to check the time, which it was two minutes sooner. And come to find out there is a TV right here. And I couldn't figure out why these two were laughing at me. <laughs> it was still like an hour, yes. And it's seven minutes early. So here's the Springs bus. Do not call JT. Heads up, if you are staying at Coronado, go to bus stop number one, because bus stop number two, your bus is already full. So I mean, you're pretty much SOL if you're waiting for it. There's a lot of people waiting. So here comes um, the man in charge. He's gonna give us a show. Four hours later and we have arrived. So they have 101 Dalmatians makeup line. Isn't that so cool? Oh, and they're magnetic. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Oh my goodness, that is so oh, cute. Wow. I just stepped on Morgan's shoes and he goes, please stop, you're going to ruin my new shoes. Do you guys see how dark and discolored these white vans are? This is an absolute first for me. I have never been inside of Splitsville. But we don't have reservations. And then Morgan just goes, and you have the audacity to say something about me not riding rock and roller coaster? Yes, I do. We are gonna eat and then bowl. So, it's a two and a half hour wait, and to put yourself in there and actually be on the wait list, you have to pay first. So we're gonna get in line for a table, eat, and then we're gonna go bowl. He gave me our annual pass 
discount. How much was it? 50 cents. For three? Yeah. Okay, you almost scared me. <laughs> I had no idea that it was so cute in here. Look at our table. It's kind of like a 50s diner thing. So on the QR menu, they literally add the children's games to it. Like, how would I complete this game right now? I mean, I guess I could screenshot it and draw on it. And I can color in this, this cup, but how? Look, they left the kids menu games on here. <laughs> we go, Morgan, what are you getting? I wish I knew, but I'm having a hard time to see. <laughs> yeah, I got it now, all right. Just put in our orders. I ordered sushi. No, I didn't. They did. They ordered like a volcano roll, a super yum roll, some sushi souffle, <laughs> something, I don't know. I ordered a kid's grilled cheese. It was definitely up my alley. I'll let you guys know how it is. And they want me to try sushi. Yeah. Yes. Not I'm today. Yes. You're trying yes. it. Yep. They got um, chopsticks and I got a fork and knife. <laughs> so Morgan brought up Sports Page, which is a restaurant by them in North Carolina. And um, so many things happened on our journey to Sports Page. Like Morgan was driving and this is when he only had his permit. And he goes, whoa, 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 whoa. He goes, oh man, I thought those were hands on the top of that car. Hands. He thought they were hands on the top of this car. And it was a luggage rack. We were in tears, crying, laughing at this. And then we just brought up that Morgan decides he's gonna, well, she had Morgan order the food. And we go to open all the boxes of the food on the counter. And she's like, this is cheese fries. This is cheese fries. And this is, Morgan, how many cheese fries did you order? And he's like, well, I just wanted some cheese fries. He ate every single one. Which that you was a big thing. Me. We didn't. I didn't doubt you. Yes, you did. I did doubt you. <laughs> it was the hand thing. It threw everything. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Look at mine's fancy like your tails. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. So what is this? A yum yum roll. Okay, this is a yum yum roll. It's got tempura, so you you can try that one. Tuna. Soup or tuna? Super. Oh, super. And what's that you got there in the corner? Volcano roll and California crunchy. Does that mean that like every place it's the same thing if you order it? Oh, so we don't know what's up. This is like a surprise. Is that tempura? Yeah. So you need to try. <laughs> so the guy comes over and he goes, I'm like, is this all um, shrimp? And he goes, well, no, this one is imitation crab. And I was like, well, thank you for saving my life. And who just asked me if I'm allergic? Morgan. Morgan goes, oh, why are you allergic? And I'm like, oh, no, I just, I, I can't handle, I'm not allergic to anything, actually. Bees either. So this is my first time trying this. Try it. Yum yum one was not horrible. Now we're gonna go to the crab one. If I spit it out, don't yell at me. I can't get it. Okay, crab. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's so bad. Oh my god. Cut. This is the spicy one. It's called the volcano. It's got ketchup, mustard, and shrimp. Shrimp. It's hot. It's spicy. That is spicy. Oh, super tuna. And how are yours? Mine's great. When are you gonna start eating your kids? And when are you gonna start eating your kids' meal when I'm done eating your guys' meal? <laughs> Let me tell you how the grilled cheese ended up being. Actually, it's really good. American cheese. Well, we finish off our next two hours. We are going to go in the M&M store while we wait. I have no interest in it. Bless you. But. Morgan's never been in. Look at my mask. How do you pronounce that restaurant that's by 
Jose. How do you pronounce it? No Helio. Helio. I think that you said Helio. And I'm not even the one that said that sentence. She said it first. It is time. We made it. What's your first reaction? Oh, I like that. Please don't make me do stuff. Oh gosh, please tell me you don't like that. Oh no. So since you're calling this corny stuff cute, I have one thing I want to show you that I just want to get like your honest opinion on. Okay. Okay. Of course I have to ask her about the sexy lingerie Eminem nighty gown. Why? Who needs an Eminem lingerie nightgown? Do you guys like this? Is it a little girl? <laughs> what? You think it's... <laughs> Stop! It's not! I thought this was for adults, like, to be like... Look, honey, aren't I so sexy in my lingerie with M&Ms on it? <laughs> Am I wrong? Sometimes I need someone to correct me. That's why me with my family, I, I really learned a lot. <laughs> can't resist eh, Can't resist mmm. Oh. And it's an M for Morgan. <laughs> Why? Yeah, well, yeah. Ridiculous. It's oh his gosh. money. That you buy me? Yeah. Well, what kind of underwear do you buy him? A pumpkin one with hand skeletons, skeleton hands on the pumpkin on my butt. On the butt. Oh. And I have them on right now. They were on sale at American Eagle. And I was like, oh, look. You can look at what they had on them. I took home and I take them out to wash them. But you can't wear these pumpkins. If you're into things on your butt, I mean, I guess this is good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, these ones say I'm the nutty one. Oh, who came up? This one, listen to what this one says. Let the fun out of the bag. Like, these are some risky. Yes, I would say for a That's not childlike at all. Morgan, which ones are you getting? No, you're definitely getting the nutty one. <laughs> Enough money for the box. <laughs> but I gotta admit, that's a good trick to get your mom to buy you a brand new pair while we're down here. Having the great family debate, Burn just spent ten dollars on hummus and two carrots, and Morgan wants to get this for ten dollars to bring home to his girlfriend. And she, oh shoot, that's right. Now she knows. Oh, I forget it. Now you're not getting. We'll find something else for. Her. I'm talking about how I thought that those M&M's, that little dress was like a, a sexy nightgown and then your husband can wear I'm the nutty one boxers and have some crazy nights. I don't know what kind of night you're having, but it's gonna be weird. So Morgan is excited to do Fast and the Furious ride because Fast and the Furious is his favorite franchise because he likes cars and stuff. I'm really, really, really wanting to go to Universal with him so bad to see what he thinks of the ride because he loves Fast and the Furious. Just so I can get disappointed. I would love to see you disappointed, yes. Wow, you're an amazing cousin. Thanks. I think that little bag makes all this worth it. How cute <laughs> is that little bag? <laughs> We were trying to talk about crumble cookies because we know people are sneaking over there. Our lane is ready for us. Doing a lot of construction. I guess you can see these gigantic garbage bags hiding some things. But the floors are, are looking rough. <laughs> yeah, garbage bags. <laughs> so we got our shoes. They're in the bucket and we're going upstairs. This is the upstairs. It is really, really cool. They got like Florida wall and, and more lanes and more like vintage dining. They've got a feather inside of a long table. So you're spending $20 on one pair of boxers. She's spending $7 on a pair of socks. So you don't need to wear a mask in here. And um, I mean, you don't think would leave a, wear a mask if you don't leave your bubble. I'm really good. You got one. Woohoo. All right, Burn, that wasn't too bad. You got seven. Let's see how good I am. Oh my goodness, these balls are so cute. All right, let's see. And, oh no, one left. Are you serious? I don't even 
even want to play anymore. <laughs> oh shoot. Did you see it out? I know, isn't that adorable? I kind of want to sneak it out in your purse. So they have Mickey and Minnie bowling balls, so Morgan and I are gonna put it in Vern's purse, and I'll take Minnie, he's gonna take Mickey home. Don't tell anyone. Oh, that's the Minnie ball. All right, let's see. <laughs> I keep filming myself just in case I get a strike, I want it to be caught on camera. Well, it's not happening today. Right. Well, it's not a strike, so this is pathetic. 7, 9, 26, and he's not even done yet on his turn. Wow, that didn't even stand a chance. It went straight in the gutter. All right, this time, this is, this is how we're, oh dear. This is how we're doing it. I'm lining it up perfect. I don't want anyone else to get my strike. And it's a, oh, <laughs> well dang it, this thing didn't really help me out at all. So now Bert and I are officially in the double digits. Um, Morgan's, whatever. She's just saving herself for the second round. She's tricking us into thinking she's not the best. And then at the end, she's just gonna be like showing us up. Are you sure about that? <laughs> is that for the saving? <laughs> what is going on? Why is that pin just sitting there like that? Oh, I do. Just smack it. Oh, we need Greg. This whole time there was a reset button on here. I don't even know which one it was. Oh! I felt good about that, so I pulled the camera out. I was obviously mistaken, but that's okay. Vern has 12 still. <laughs> I have 33 for the last two, and Morgan is at 69. I have no idea what's going on here. Before Morgan whacks me in the head with the ball, I want everyone to know I got a spare. She is not 12 anymore. She's got 19 after one, two, three, four, five, six times of having 12 in a row, three times having seven in a row. We have gotten 19. And, um, okay, no, well, it was a great, it was short-lived, but it was great. <laughs> All right, the last one of the game. Ha! Well, it looks like we've got a score of 19, 46, and then 103. All right, so now Burn and I are going to have gutter gutter protection, and we're going to, and you're, no, you're, you're, you're already good enough. We're gonna see how much better we do now that we can't have a gutter. And we are off to, you didn't even need it this time. That figures. That figures. This is hilarious. Burn didn't even touch the gutters and got a spare this time. The whole time last time, we got a score of like four. This time, she knocked them all out without touching the gutter. Okay, Morgan comes back and he didn't get any the first time, then he gets a spare and he's like, I need the gutters. And I said, no, anyone with a score of 100 above doesn't get gutters. And then Burn says, see, I told you the whole entire first round was for show. So a lot's going on here. The competition is fierce. Yet again, she did not even touch the gutter and she almost got all of them gone. That one touched the gutter. But you got, oh, okay, one. I just got a spare, which is a two-part strike. Yeah. Well, worth a try. Unbelievable. Morgan now has a strike, so the score is 66, 80, and 82. With bumpers, Morgan is still beating our butts. I did it. I did it for the first time in probably 20 years. I just got a strike. Didn't touch the gutters. I did it. I really did do it. Morgan, I'm officially beating you, so uh, good luck there, pal. I am no longer beating Morgan. <laughs> Trouble's on the lane. We had to get Greg to come fetch this pin that has bounced itself. Oh, he's crawling like, a, oh, like an army man. There he goes, slide it down the gutter, Greg. Good job. Now slide your butt back here. 
<laughs> Morgan's like, come on, let's go. And she's like, I'm not gonna throw it while Greg's laying down out there. <laughs> I got another strike. I might beat Morgan. And I'm not even using the bumpers. So obviously that first round was just practice. It's our last frame and Burn gets to do a three in, the, a three four. So she gets to go and do three and whatever. You still got to do three. It's all up to this frame. Who is going to win, me or Morgan? Oh, it's Morgan, forget it. Okay, actually, I just, I spoke too soon. Morgan has to get a spare here to beat me. Let's see. Oh, forget it. <laughs> Let's see the score. 127. You got 227. What, you, get out of here. Great news. I won the last round. I beat Morgan. 124 to 130. So I'm doing so much better with the gutters on or the bumpers on, but it, it's not like I'm touching them. So the bumpers give you like bumper confidence. This is our lightning speed round. So Burn said for every single round, we all have to get strikes to make this speed up because we got eight minutes left to go. So far the only one striking is Burn and Morgan. I've got a two part strike up on the board, but you know what, this is it. The final countdown is happening. Good job. We have five minutes to get three frames done. I'm in the lead. I don't know how that's possible, but I am somehow and I don't even have a strike up there. Morgan, if you can get a strike here, we can definitely finish three games in an hour and 15 minutes we got. You did not get a strike. I put too much pressure on you. Last frame, two minutes to go. Okay. It's okay. One minute left. Yes! Never mind. We got excited for that, but forgot now Burn has to go again. It shut down. We were almost done completing three rounds of bowling. Morgan told me to come over here and look at the view from up here. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. I guess they ate over here last time. You guys said you ate over here last time? Yeah, it's pretty. Okay, so bowling was 22 a person, you said? Yeah, but we got a discount. Bowling was 22 a person, we got a discount. You get an hour and 15 minutes of bowling and we did literally almost three games. I thought that was my mom. I don't know why. <laughs> up already <laughs> so would we do bowling here again in dinner yes absolutely yes we would for instance spirit jerseys are an 80s thing my mask is upside down she says that she really likes this a lot <laughs> Burn just sent Morgan into Sephora <laughs> to ask about the Corolla DeVille makeup. <laughs> Is it a magnet? Yes. yes. <laughs> I love it. It's cute though. Oh wait. Is this a tuca? There's a tuca. What is it? There's no clue, but it's not a tuca. That's definitely a tuca. It's a tuca. You know what you're talking about. Don't let picture. Morgan tell you that you don't know what you're I talking know about. What I'm talking about. That is right. obviously that is not a tuca. Toddler porg tuca. <laughs> <laughs> there, it's, there's a tuca. <laughs> Right, that is a tuca. Wow. That's a, that's a tuca. That's a tuca if she's ever seen one. <laughs> I'm sorry to get tired. <laughs> oh, so you're just mistaking things for tucas on accident? Which one is the tuca? Oh, that one. I don't think he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> he doesn't. Poor Bigfoot plush. <laughs> about <laughs> huh which, which one's, one's the, the tuca? tuca we're in uh, Disney Springs which one's the tuca we're point to it America. which one's the tuca Look, that one. One. Yeah. oh that's not that ugly I think that's uh, ugly. uglier your phone, Mom. this is not 
Oh, she's that lying. That is like us. Morgan. What color is that? That is light blue. Light blue. Two against one. That's Two purple. against one. No. That is like Carrie Winkle purple. Yes. No. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Light blue, purple. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna call that. Like a blue, whatever. It's like a blue green. Morgan and I are both colorblind, so we agree on what we're seeing while she knows what she's really seeing, and it's we're kind just of funny. The normal ones. We're, we're the, the normal ones. ones. Colorblind. That's right. We're not colorblind. We don't know what we're talking about. Oh, oh my gosh, these are adorable. I want one of these so bad, but no one will let me get one. Now we wait again. Coronado. All right, whatever, Morgan. You get one point for the day. And you won at bowling, so you get two points for the day. Burn, you're at zero. I'm at zero as well. That's all right. We still have two hours left. 1030. <laughs> <laughs> the Just point clock. 1030 is one. The point clock stops. Do you understand why? So when we're playing cards after 10.30 and you win, it doesn't count? The clock doesn't end till midnight, okay? I changed the rules around. <laughs> I didn't go through the bushes. I would never cut through a bush. Our bus station is number 19, which is like pretty much the furthest away bus station. All right, here's a little trick for you. If you are going to the buses and you know your bus is far away, all you have to do is go right here. You should have just listened to me. Oh, whatever. You did it. You made it into a vlog. The line for our bus stop is so long. <laughs> okay, we are guessing how many buses it's gonna take for us to actually get on a bus. You say four. After this one, or this one accounts? one. Okay, and you guess how many more? The third one. The right third, now, the as of right now. So two so, more. No. Well, that's Three more. The same thing. I'm counting that as oh, okay, okay, so all right, you're saying four, two. I'm going to go with, we're walking. It's too bad I'm not staying at All-Star Movies again tonight because they brought a Magical Express bus to come and pick up the load and left all of us peasants here. My answer was actually that we're only gonna miss one bus, so let's see. And just on time, we have the Disney Cruise Line bus here. If we get on it, I won the game. Yeah. Whoever gets this right gets an extra point, and it's not going to be Morgan. I wish this was a Magical Express, though, because then I could watch the video of me in it. I am so heartbroken. I changed my answer. I changed my answer. It's going to be two buses go by, and then, and then we get on. I won the game. I won the game. <laughs> You're gonna sit in the back. Is this a bathroom? Yes. It is. Oh my gosh, it is. Why, why can't it fit more people? Wait, are we not supposed to sit together? They could have fit all those people. We just talked about how there's no social distancing on this bus, but we all social distance from each other. <laughs> I got the point. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I only said, I said. Oh, well, yeah, you did. I mean, technically, I really didn't, but I did. So Morgan's at two points, I meant, whatever, Morgan. Uh, Morgan's at two points. You're gonna lose a point for, for arguing with your elders. Are you guys gonna you go get water? Yeah, we can. Okay. You What'd you say? Too tall for this crowd, in my head. Uh, well, the man in front of you is hitting the actual roof. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> We're talking about how far away we are from the room and Morgan calls it a five. He says we're still a good 5K away, which is Morgan and I just went to Walmart to get um, things. I'm so glad we survived because I didn't think we were going to survive the trip. It was, I'm talking about what just happened to us. So we um, went to get wine, not for Morgan, and, and um, water and stuff and um burn asked for a charger let me show you the conversation so i say send me a picture of your charger so she does she sends a samsung on. galaxy s20 5g thank you plan. do you have the receipt no oh i don't know how you think we're going to do this she gives us her data plan of 5g the serial number on the charger she also asked for 
She didn't even get upset about the men's deodorant. She goes, well, okay, this'll work. <laughs> <laughs> so our night's ruined.